Yes. Okay. So first, let's tell the people about your origin. Where are you from? And what are some things that you hold near and dear to you? Okay. Well, I'm, a, I'm originally from uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, I've been living here all my life. Uh, I'm a graduate of Louisiana State University, Tiger for Life. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, I, I love music. I've been in the music industry for some time. I used to be a, a producer, rap producer, and I, per, I per, perform with some of some of the uh, people like uh, of the likes of like Young Bleed. I'm, I'm quite sure y'all heard of him. How you do that there with Master P? Uh, um, I'm a I'm a parent. I'm also um, uh, now I, I now I can say I'm a, a para a para education. I start school uh, teaching next week. So that's just yes. me. Yes. definitely. Uh -huh. Yeah. And oh, and I've been visually impaired ever since the age of two. So, do you know what caused your visual impairment? Um, German measles. I have also um uh, um um spinal meningitis. That was the cause mm -hmm. of, of me becoming blind. So, and I'm glad that, that it was like at a younger age because I've spoken with a lot of other people and in, in, in my time of interviewing and talking with them, I was like, well, how, would you have preferred to have lost your sight in the earlier years? Uh, or later on, I probably, I mean, I told them me personally in the earlier years, because it probably would have been harder. Yeah, because I lost my sight two weeks before my 20th birthday. So, you know, having your eyesight for like 20 years and then all of a sudden can't see nothing. It's like, whoa. That's, I, can, I, can, I can only imagine, believe me. And I would like to know that story one of these days, but it's not, it's, it's you know, it's, it has, has to be a challenge. But it seems that you have overcome that, believe me. A couple of things. So when you studied at LSU, what did you study? Uh, I studied criminal justice that had minor in psychology. Um, also, while I was there, I wanted to be a part of the LSU band, the marching band, but I, I didn't. And there was, you know, it was going to it was going to be kind of hard. You know, me being totally blind. I didn't want to be in the concert. But I really love the march. And I also um, pledged Alpha Phi for fraternity incorporated. It's a, a black fraternity on campus. I also, during, the, during my tenure there, I also uh, was the DJ for our, our fraternity and other fr uh, fraternities and sororities as well. So uh, it, was, it was pretty exciting. The only thing about my college days, uh, as they said in the beginning, that they do go fast, and that they did. It went so fast. Before I know it, I was out looking for a job, and that's 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 a horse with another color. What did you want to do with your criminal justice degree? I actually, uh, uh, Professor Blindy, I wanted to... Uh, Work in the uh, in the in the um, prison system. Either I wanted to uh, be like in the probation office, work work with mm -hmm. their parole, or just basically trying to get people who have been uh, incarcerated, kind of like speak speak with them and get them on the right track, help them with different programs. If there were different programs out there, try to get them you know on the right track so they wouldn't have to come back to prison. But uh, unfortunately, I was not having not been able to use my criminal justice degree, so. 